Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kerioth, and I... Uh, I have a confession to make. It's a horrendous confession. It's not like the Warhammer confession where I was talking about Peter and all that shit. It's not, it's not, it's not a joke. This isn't a joke. This isn't a joke. This isn't a piss take. This isn't me being silly. It absolutely is me being silly. This is 100% me being silly. It's not me being silly. It's not, it, it's, it's, it's a heartfelt message. A confession, if you will. An admission that perhaps things are not, not all that great. That there could be some sort of issue seeping in, seeping down, seeping in. And, uh, look, there is a certain game series with which I have a bit of a history. It all started back at Unit Lost, where someone sent me a game. A game that you know of, right? You know of. And I've, I've played the sequel to this game. I've played, like, I guess what would be a spiritual successor to this game. I mean, it was by the same guy. In fact, not only have I played this series of games, I've played them multiple times, or at least two of them I've played multiple times, to get both endings. Admittedly, both endings were disappointing for both of them, and uh, it was a complete waste of time. And in fact, the playthrough for one of these titles went on for fucking hours on the channel. It took ages. It was ridiculous. And all I did throughout the playing of this particular series is take the piss, okay? I was like, this is garbage, that's crap, look at this. Awful, awful games. Just dreadful, terrible. I, I, was, not, I was not going out of my way to be generous. But today, today I just felt like, I just felt like relaxing, you know? I just felt like messing about, having a faff around, just, just being, just, you know, just enjoying myself. I didn't fancy doing anything particularly aggressive or, or, or investigative or, I mean, I'll be honest, I was looking for something to just have a bit of fun. That's all I was after. That's all I wanted. Now, of course, there's plenty of titles I could pick for this. I could have done a bit more Soulstorm. I could have loaded up Hitman. There's an elusive target, I believe, at the moment. But for some reason, something drew me to Steam. I was looking through, and I was like, is there anything I can play? Is there anything I can grab? Something cheap, something fun. And I ended up searching for a title. A game that I've already played. A game that is in my library, no less. That game was Drizzlepath. Now, I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I searched for it. I honestly don't. There's literally no point. I own Drizzlepath, for God's sake. I own Drizzlepath Genie, for Jesus Christ. And I own Bottle, which is made by the same guy and may as well just be called Drizzlepath 3. And yet, I search for them. And do you know what the most alarming thing about this is? It's not that I'm searching for stuff that I already own, which is utterly pointless. It's that I clicked the guy's name, Old Tonguk Budur, whose name I'm pretty sure I did not pronounce correctly, and that's probably borderline offensive, but whatever. I can barely speak English. Give me some credit. I'm not going to be able to pronounce that, am I? So I, I, I click his name, and this is what I'm greeted with. Okay? This is, uh... <laughs> this is what I'm greeted with. Look. Look at that. <laughs> look. at Look. Look. Oh, no. Why? Why? Look at this. Look at it. These are the games he's already released. Drizzlepath. We've played it. Drizzlepath Genie. Jesus Christ. We've played it for fucking hours. Bottle. We've played it. But what's this? There's another one. He's making another one. He's making a third fucking game. He's making a, a, a fourth game. He's making a third. A third fucking Drizzlepath game. As if Genie wasn't enough. Where there's like hoovers and shit just lying around this magical landscape. Is this. There's this. I mean, let's look at the trailer. Let's do it. We might as well. Oh, God. Why? It's looking flash. It's looking swanky. I mean, that is more... That is... that. Those horses were more development than we've seen in all other three games. I oh, might you know there was, like, antelope or some shit in the last one, wasn't there? But still, that was... What what a development. Oh my god, you can open a box. Shit. Shit. That looks uh, as weird as it would be. Birds? Fucking birds? Leaps and bounds, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Random picture of a cup of copy on the wall. Very interesting there. I'm not sure how you get that car to that location, but okay. That what is going on with the water over there? 
Already I'm picking it apart. Already I'm picking it apart. <laughs> I just can't help I can't help myself. I can't help myself. What is it with these games and me? I shouldn't want anything to do with this. Jesus Christ, what is going on here? Hey, it's those fucking lies from Drizzlepath Genie again. He's brought them back. Bit of random house action there. Oh! Alright. Life is so empty since oh. he passed away. Oh, God. Everything feels like going up the hill. And I feel so what the close fuck? to the end. Am I ever going no, to see you? No, probably not. Honestly, I'm not sure about what would have been my wish. And Look I don't at know this wildlife! Wherever you are. Deep inside, I miss you so much. But I try hard not to. Life changes all of us. But some things are always the same. Proper AI be an achievement for anyone? If it was two years ago, I couldn't what? find the right answer for that. <laughs> was that something about scripting AI? What the fuck? What the hell? I mean, look. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. So, <laughs> it's available this month. It's available this month. We're gonna play it. I know. We're gonna play it. <laughs> about this game. Your husband is dead and you want to visit his grave. There is an abandoned house in the village and in that house you find a red rose. You do not want to go to your husband's grave empty handed. In Drizzlepath Glass there are some hidden object type of puzzle elements as well as horror in some parts of the game. Oh Jesus Christ. It is an atmospheric experience mainly with the nature theme and it will take you to different places surrounded with various moods. In your journey the protagonist will tell you her memories with her husband from childhood to the time after he died. There is no path to show you the way and you are free to explore the game's world so that you can find various things like some hallucinations that the protagonist sees or some notepapers containing poem like weird texts. A, a bit of relaxation, a bit of mystery, a bit of thrill. The entire experience will put you in different moods. Can we just say, can we just start off right? The the, the progression, the, the progression that we're seeing from old Tongo here is is staggering. It's staggering. In the first drizzle path, you had the, the guitar music and the woman who couldn't speak English, which was hilarious. I loved it, absolutely loved it. Well the narration, the rest of it was pretty meh. Drizzle Path Genie took it up yet another level with inane ramblings that lasted literal hours. But there was, like, at least two things you interacted with. Was it one? It might have actually just been one. I'm pretty sure it was one. Bottle was a bit of a regression again. You didn't have anything to interact with. You also didn't have perma sprint, which was a bit crap. But this, this, oh my god. There was stuff you could pick up. There was actual moving wildlife. And not just two deer walking around. Full on rats and and birds, and horses, and foxes, all manner of shit. Do you know what is the most worrying, the most almost upsetting, the thing that, the thing that concerns me beyond all other things, in light of this particular development, in light of the fact that Drizzlepath Glass not only exists, but it's out this month. I saw this, right, I saw it, and I didn't immediately go oh that's gonna be shit instead instead i was like oh nice i'll play that what has happened to me what has happened to me as a per as a as a human being what has happened what's going on with my brain i spent hours literal hours like how long did i play drizzle path genie for let's go back let's go back and find out i can tell you i can tell you how long Oh my god. It's way back. Way, way back. Right at the start of the channel. And it was... It was... Like... I, I don't... It was silly. It was silly amounts of time. It was a silly, silly amount of time. I mean, for fuck's sake. Okay. Got like half an hour. An hour. <laughs> an hour and a half. Two, like two hours it's just it just goes on and on I must have played that game for close to like probably close to six hours or something it it's still going I'm on the X page it's still going in total in total right honestly that must have been an easy an easy six 
like six hours, six to seven hours playing that fucking game. And all I did was take the piss the entire time. And yet, and yet, I go on Steam, I look at the guy's name, I look at the fact he's got another one of these fucking walking simulators coming out, another one of these goddamn point A to point B, nonsense riddled, plinky plonky music filled, just utter drivel creations coming out and I wasn't upset or disappointed I actually kind of am looking forward to playing it why why that that creaked it was a dramatic effect it was like a spooky thing this could be the beginning of the end for me as a, as a sane human being let this video remain as as a testament to the day that I realised that there's a very serious and good chance that I may be literally losing my mind. I shouldn't be looking forward to this. I should be seeing this and going, some asshole is going to send me that. They're going to send it to me for a Steam gift gamble and I'm going to know what it is and I'm going to play it anyway and it's going to be crap and I'm going to be disappointed because what, what else could I possibly be with another Drizzle Path game? I shouldn't be like... <gasps> Wait... The release date is the 15th of February. What day is it? What day is it? It's the 14th. Oh God, it's so close. It's gonna be out in like a day. I'm gonna be recording this on Thursday. I can't record it tomorrow. I'm gonna to record it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it, but it's gonna happen. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to see more of whatever the fuck that was, and uh, check out the old Patreon thing as well, that's somewhere. Look out for Drizzle Path Glass, I guess. Fuck me. Oh.